Welcome to Ham Radio QRP. Today we look at a gem from the 1970s, a Heathkit electronic design experimenter. I want to show you this fun little toy I got on uh, from eBay recently. It's, let me unhook the oscilloscope for a second. It's a Heathkit electronic design experimenter from 1978. And when it arrived, it was in its original Heathkit box, not terribly beat up, along with the construction manual and all of the paperwork, including the warranty card. Um, in excellent shape, looks like it had hardly ever been used. So in essence, it provides power supply of positive and negative voltage. It For DC current, it provides a AC line current just taps off of the internal transformer 15 volt individual lines or if you combine them 30 volts and also has a little function generator or generator it'll do square waves sine waves but it's really only good for the audio spectrum 2 to 20 kilohertz it has a couple um variable pots a 1k pot and a 100k so I've got it hooked up to the square wave right now in the low range, so at 200 hertz. And if we turn it on and um, turn on a little speaker over here just to make it more interesting and show you the oscilloscope and hook up the probe, that would be helpful. Lo and behold, here we have a square wave. Um, not a great square wave, but usable. I go to um, one millisecond time divisions, so each of these divisions is basically a hertz. Um, Lovely sounding square wave, and of course it's got a high range. Oh, that's painful. If I go to 0.1 divisions, it's actually looking a little bit better. It's still not a very even square wave, but it's it's got good sharp cutoffs. Anyway, useful in the audio range, certainly. Um, and let's look at its... Look at its sine wave output here. Sine wave output's a little bit lower. It has a bit of a square wave sound to it, but uh, you can see on the scope it is a sine wave. So not a bad little generator for audio frequencies. It seems to have some issues in those frequencies, but usable. Okay, so what use is this? One of my silly little projects is to, uh, turn this off for a second, is to build a junk box oscillator for straight key practice. Couldn't get any simpler. It's it's a two transistor multi vibrator circuit. I didn't want to buy any components. I just found what was in my junk box. I had more of these little 0.1 microfarad capacitors than anything else, so I used them for the multi vibrator circuit. <clears throat> the output of that is a square wave. So if um, that in, turn this back on. So here's how that's useful. When you're building an RC circuit to turn a, a sine square wave, wave not a sine wave, wave into something more pleasant to look at, um, you've got to find the right time series drain on the cut on the caps. So we already saw the square wave. The square wave is not at 750. Let me get it closer to 750. 
All right, pretty close. All right, so this is the first stage of an RC network. You can see where from the square wave, it's begun to lop off the edges, at least on the leading edge, into a starting of a sine wave. We go to the second part of the RC circuit. So this is resistor and capacitor number two. Now we're getting more of a sawtooth wave. And we want to round that even more, so we have our third resistor capacitor. And it's looking like a pretty decent sine wave. So that sounds like a nice sine wave, as opposed to that. Let's disconnect the, the generator now. So the generator is disconnected from the circuit, and now what we have is the voltage from the power supply goes to my key and the key completes the circuit and it's going to drive the multivibrator. Its output is going to go into the same RC circuit and trying to operate a Morse code key from the wrong side. Um, and for bonus points, we have, of course, a, a beautiful LED. All right, let's turn that volume up a bit. And now we have our Straight key oscillator. It's a um, pretty nice sounding sine wave. Good, so I'm gonna take this and uh, put it on a circuit board Right now it's being driven at around nine volts. I'll run it off a nine volt battery. It of course won't power itself unless a key closes the contact. So it won't run, the, there's no drain on the battery when it's not in use. So Heathkit, electronic design experimenter, helped me um, sweep a circuit to find the right values for my resistors, for my RC circuit to smooth out that ugly sounding square wave. Now, you can find them on the cheap on famous auction sites or eham.net or QRZ Trader and have fun with it. There you go.